Hmm. That took a while. Maybe it's cold. Sometimes that happens. It gets tiny when it's cold. Look at us. We're, we're friendly again. <laughs> This is the theme song. This is the theme song for you know why we're friendly? Because you're all I have. You're the only one who has not abandoned me yet. So you said yeah. Tag tag you're it. Well, you know what? Hey, guess what? Yeah, um um listen. Huh? Welcome to when wife gives you one. So, Joy John, hi. So, I'm going to tell you why that works. Why does this work? I'm going to eat my fruit snacks. Because you're going to eat them in the micro microphone. Yeah. <clears throat> so you're like, I have nothing else that I think. Well, I am not, like, really, I'm kind of a, not a good person. So it works itself out because you put up with me. So, you know, I appreciate that. Hey, guess what? John called it. I knew. I knew. My parents aren't coming for Christmas, so there's that. Yay. I didn't call it. You I called didn't. it. You can listen to the last episode. You called it. I, I'm... But I don't want to be a bad guy. You manifested it. <laughs> so it's my fault now? I don't know. That's fine. I don't know, but I had, like, this weird, crazy epiphany where I'm like, dude... I can't keep anyone. Like You've had me for twenty years. I mean because you, you trapped me. You did trap me. You kids. trapped me. If if we did You I couldn't get pregnant and you were like challenge accepted. If if you hadn't had children Uh you think I'd be gone? Do you think we'd be together if we didn't have kids? I don't think you'd put up with me. I'm gonna ask. Damn, I never thought of that. You'd, Would you'd, you be with me if I didn't get preggy? Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't, I don't <laughs> see why not. Like, I'm like, for the past two days, I've been on the verge of tears. Like, I am trying to hold <laughs> back tears, like, for two days. It happens, I know. So, um. I was feeling really sad yesterday. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, you know, like, I, I was like, I Clark Griswold it so hard because I'm all, oh, they're coming, and so I'm going to do this, and we're going to do this, and we're going to all get up, and we're going to open presents, and this is this, and this, and this, and then we're going to do a secret Santa, and I'm going to sneak in the secret Santa. Like, I had all of these Clark Griswold plans. Yeah. And then I was like, I have no friends. And then I, like, went down a crazy spiral where I'm like, I like people attached to me, and then they just. Doop, You're like, Joy's great, and um, she's great. Yeah, but I am great, and I'm awesome. So I don't know what I'm. You I've got to figure out what. I'll just spit bubble. Um, I've got to figure out what I'm doing, like what I'm putting out in the universe that's well, making people leave. You know. Except John. No, and, and it's funny because I was thinking about this too. I've been having the same issue. In, in a different way. Um, so, I've been dealing with, with the, the inner turmoil of, of the same type of situation where not, not necessarily where you feel like you're alone and that you, know, you only have me. I do only I have feel me. like people like me, but when they start to get to know me, they realize I kind of fucking whine a bitch a lot and I fucking stomp my feet and complain and shit. And I'm... I'm a negative, more of a negative person because I've always, I've always felt like I've had that chip on my shoulder and been negative because it's just like, fuck me, everybody, fuck. right, so I've always had this, so I get that, I, I get that. But I'm <clears throat> awesome, like, I, I would be a good friend. You are awesome. So whatever, like, whatever, it's just, it, the whole thing is, and I've told you this for years. When you and I get in a huge fight, I don't have that person to call. I would call you and be all, do you know what you fucking did? Well, good news. The person I really would have called died, so. Because <laughs> I'm, and I can tell you this for a fact. Because when I was sitting in that little 
dark corner of the you know yesterday I was last couple of days I was sitting in a little bit, bit of a dark corner and I wasn't really talking about it but I was and I was like man you know sorry. I didn't want to talk sorry guys we had that heater on I didn't want to talk to you about it because I didn't want to get you know bring you into my little hole that I was laying in so I was like God who 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 would it be and I was like I almost just called him to leave a message <laughs> just to you know just to do it because and then I real then I got sad because I realized I missed him and then I realized like I felt like I I would you know I don't know I went down a really fucked up hole and then it just made it worse for a while so yeah. but yeah, I mean I'm fine okay. I'm fine we're I'm fine, fine. We're, we're emotionally okay together <laughs> I'm we're fine. not fighting but we're both like on the verge of breakdowns it's okay <laughs> But see, it's like, you know what it is? You know what you do? Like, we do it together. You know how, I like, women, work. they're like, oh, I'm not feeling good. And then, like, 30 seconds later, the man's like, I think I'm coming down with what you so, have. So I, I'm like, dude, my parents aren't you know coming. And then you're like, I'm hey, sad. Do you know what it is? What? I'm a habitual one upper. You are a habitual one upper. Because you know what? <laughs> My parents aren't coming over either. And no, your mom, <laughs> no, your mom Your mom texted me this I'm morning kidding. and I'm she kidding. was like, let's go to lunch tomorrow. No, and I, I said kidding. yes. And I am then, sorry that your parents aren't coming. It does suck. And I then know I'll, you were looking forward to it and I'm sorry. I mean, I bitch and complain about them, but it really would have been cool to like, I don't know, have them at our house and like, whatever. It's not going to happen. So I don't know why I'm fucking talking about it. Cool. Um... Sorry, I'm a little bit. See, and there you go. See, I'm a shitty person because then I'm like, you know what? I was, I was, but I was, I'm a shitty person too. Okay, so let's. We're trying. I'm trying to make this quick because um, quick it's late. That. Um, <laughs> so John and I were Christmas shopping. I told you this already, but I wrote it down because it just <laughs> fucked with my head a little. We were at Marshall's and I had to pee, like I always do, because I drink a gallon of water a day, and because I don't just want water all day. I drink other stuff too, like tea and coffee and protein drinks. So I have more than a gallon of liquid in my body a day. And then, so I know, I know, I know. I set you up. No, we're not taking that. We're not taking that road. So anyway, I was like, I have to pee. So I went to Marshall's and this lady was like, okay, girls, have a good day. And then she left and there was a girl in the stall. I was peeing and then there was a girl waiting for the girl in the stall and she goes, talking to strangers isn't as scary as I thought. She maybe was really, kids, yeah, right? like seven, maybe. Seven at most. Like Ella's a, Ella, like picture Ella. And she, they, she goes, talking to strangers isn't as scary as I thought. She, and the other girl goes, yeah, she was really nice. And then the other girl goes, we should talk to strangers more often. And I'm all, give us some candy. And I'm all, do I say something? Because now I'm a stranger, and then I'll yeah. warn them, and they'll be like, "Oh, that stranger was really nice too." So See, I wanted, strangers are nice. So, you wanted, us. so then I was thinking, like walking out and being like, "Fuck you!" Double, 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 and like be like, "I'm a stranger," and like scare them. Me. Bless you. You sneeze like a pussy. Oh, fuck you. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, fuck you. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. And then. Um, bless you. Thanks. Bless you. And then. Okay, I was massage. Okay, okay, so I have a lady that I massage, and her son's a piece of shit, and just like she was telling me that anytime she wants to see her son, like she has to pay. Can I habitual one up you here? Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. I could, but I'm not gonna. I could. So, <laughs> so anyway, I would have done it just for fun. So anyway, she. Okay. Bow, 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 allegedly, um, she was like, yeah, so when I want to see my son on Mother's Day, I have to pay for dinner. And I was like, dude. And then at some point, we were talking about how she likes Red Lobster. So I got it in my head, and I went and I got her a Red Lobster gift card, and I put it in a card. And I was like, every mom should have dinner paid for on Mother's Day. And it wasn't even close. It was like August or something. So whatever. And she was like, oh, my God. So anyways, so I'm massaging her, and she's like, Joy, I want to give you to, like, everyone and I'm like okay so she's like I need gift certificate I need eight gift certificates and I'm like oh okay and then we made a deal where she pays me when they come because I was right. like dude that's a lot of money and she's an older lady and she's on a fixed budget so I was like why don't I give you these gift cards and then when they come in I will call you and you can pay me 
as they come in. So it's not a huge lump sum. So anyway, she's like, yeah, I want to give you to my granddaughter, you know, and, you know, the first thing I told him, I was like, you are, she goes, the first thing I told him is that you love Jesus. And she's all, and they're, they're, they're pastors in the church, and, you know, I told them you're a good Christian girl, and you love Jesus. Oh, boy. And I looked at myself in the mirror, and even Mirror Joy was all. Mirror Joy was like, ooh. Mir- and I was like, fucking help me out, Mirror Joy, and she was all. Like, Mirror Joy left. Like, I was staring in the mirror like a fucking vampire. Mirror Joy fucking took off. I was all, ah! I love Jesus. And I didn't say anything. I didn't confirm. I didn't deny. I was all... Probably the best answer. It was... Mm-hmm. But, like, even... I'm telling you, John, I stared, and, like, I was looking at Mirror Joy, and even Mirror Joy was all new. Like... Yeah, it's... It's, it's odd, isn't it? And then the last thing that I have is I thought of a new book idea. And okay. I probably shouldn't be telling it. It's whatever, mm. but it's my idea. Um... So anyway, it's a rom-com. I don't know how it ends, though, because it can't end. Don't steal it. This is happening. Yeah. So what happens is, because I have a girl who, she had really low self-esteem. I was massaging her. And she was like, fuck it, I'm done having low self-esteem. And she fucking changed her confidence. I'm so proud of her. Like, she's a different person, and she walks in different. And it's funny, too, because... Since I quit the chiropractor, I've had so many people go, man, you just look lighter. Like, and I'm all, because I'm happy. You know, I was super happy, and then my parents didn't come. No, but I'm happy. Like, I am. Super, super happy until you start crying. I'm yeah. Like, so then, um, fuck you. Crybaby. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Um, so anyway, to get her confidence up, she went on an app and had a threesome. Dang. And then she's like, you know what, whenever I did it. I, I felt super sexy, you know, the husband and wife were both over me, and she's like, but I don't think I'll do it again. Like, it's a bucket Until list. Until next week. No, she was like, it's a bucket list, whatever, I'm not doing it again, so whatever. So then she was telling me that she was going to the singles mixer, and this guy was hitting on her, and they went to his house, and, like, they played piano, and they made out a little, and then she's like, we super clicked, and then he didn't call me, and I was like, oh, fuck that guy. And I was like, dude, what if that's the guy's parents that you had a threesome with? And she was all, oh, my God. So then I started thinking of this book idea where the girl goes and has a threesome. And she's like, ah, it's not really for me, but I'm not amazing. And now that she has confidence, a guy hits on her and they're together. And then he's like, I want you to come meet my parents. And they're driving down the street. And she's like, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? And then they park in front of the driveway. And she's like, fuck, 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 fuck. And then I thought that would be one of the funniest things ever. It would, be. It would ever. be funny. But she can't end up with that guy. Right. Because she had sex with his parent. Right. She has to end up having a, being a throuple. No. Being a, being a stepmom. So what I think is going to happen. You're such an asshole. So what I think is going to happen is a hot. You could have a stepmom once in a while, too. So what's going to happen is a hot cousin will be like, I don't care that you fucked my aunt, my uncle, and my cousin. I love you. And then it's happy. But I, that scene to me would be so fucking funny where, like, he starts turning and she's like, oh, this looks familiar. And then he pulls onto the street and she's like, you've got to fucking be kidding me. And then they pull up in the driveway and I was like, that would be such a fun scene to write. So that's all. Oh, and then Brody Odie went to Disneyland. Thank you. Santa Clarita Sheriffs um, for taking care of yeah, my child. Yeah, that was really cool. They took him for two days to yeah. Disneyland. And I was going to tell something about it that he was telling me. Oh, about it's a small world. Oh, yeah. So I was thinking about this the other day, or every time I go to small world anyway, whenever we've gone and the, whatever few times I've been in my life. Uh, Man, you are negative. Ew. Don't do that anymore. You're yeah. done. So... So, I was thinking, is is Small World like a subliminal thing? Because they put you in there, and they just pound the song into your brain for five minutes. It's the longest ride. It's not right. a small ride. <laughs> right. So, my thought process was like, holy shit, is it really like, is it a fucking, like a mind thing? They're just trying to fucking... Maybe there's like an under under thing that we don't really hear because the song Walt Disney yeah came up by with. Disney 
Spend your money. Give me your credit card. And your children. <laughs> it's a world of credit card. It's a world of credit card. It's a world of your son's penis. But it's just like all these different languages of it. So you're just like, by the time you come out, you're like, pew, pew. You don't want to like punch people in the face and you come out, you're like a small world. You come out and you're reaching for your wallet. You're and like, everybody's just sitting there. You're like, like it is a small world. Pew, pew. You start punching people everywhere. It's Remember when Caleb riot. peed on me and it's a small world? Because he was like, I have to pee. And I was like, okay, we'll just go on this ride. And he was sitting on my lap. And it is not a small... It is the longest ride well, in fucking history. Well, okay, let's not to mention, Caleb was... Like, a baby. Yeah, he was barely... He was under two. He was under two. Because he was fully potty trained at uh, like a year and a half. Yeah. But, but the thing is, is he didn't... He didn't know how to... Uh, he, he just was like... It's time. Yeah. It was like, no, okay. Well, I gotta he, keep he had it, and he, it was like, I was like, let's just go on this ride, because I thought it would be a quick ride. It wasn't, and he's sitting on my lap, and my lap just gets super warm. And here's the thing. When you take your children, your babies, to Disneyland, you bring your babies changes of clothes. You don't bring mom changes of clothes. And he was sitting in my lap, so it truly looked like I had peed my pants. It was fucking beautiful. I had my first super caffeinated coffee. Oh my god, I wish I could find that picture. John had his first espresso. It's off of Main Street. Man, I was jacked. And we were on It's a Small World and I turned and I took a picture of him and I'm not kidding, his eyes were the size of my fist. I was and it's the funniest picture and it's somewhere. I don't know where it is. That is That's fucking funny. hilarious. And then we took Caleb and he was a, he was a baby. I saw and, the post. I, actually, when I was looking for pictures of Daryl when, when uh -huh. he passed. I, I was looking through the picture box, and I, I saw that picture of them sleeping in the back. Uh -huh. of, where, where one's against the window, one's against the shoulder, and one's in the car seat all out. Uh-huh, because we took Gabriel. Yeah. And then you took a picture of me, and I was all, let's go. That was a different time. Well, we did it twice. We did do it twice. But Especially anyway. My parents went with us. When we, um, oh, so... Brody, Caleb, we took him on Pirates of the Caribbean, and he was a baby. He was so little. He like he was under two. And when we did the dips, he'd go, wee! And we should have known then that he was going to be a roller coaster fiend. Right. Like, holy sh... And he had everyone on Pirates of the Caribbean cracking up because he was like, wee! It was funny. Super funny, the... Uh, side note, when we were sitting in there, and, and Brody goes, yeah, and then we went to a haunted mansion, and we both looked at each other, <laughs> like, are we going to fuck now? <laughs> haunted mansion. Haunted, for Ooh. Haunted Mansion's our sex movie. It is our sex movie. And then, um... That's right. Here's for the, whatever reason. It, you put it on when you first hit on... John yeah. made his first move to Pirates of the Caribbean, or... To wow. Who, who's, who's the pirate from the Caribbean, <laughs> Trampy Girl? No, 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 you can't lay it off now. I didn't it. Uh huh, uh huh, look at you, baby. Stop it, you can't leave me, I don't have anyone. <laughs> don't leave me, John. <laughs> Jesus left me, too. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> so, anyway, the last thing, I was massaging a guy today, and he was like, Yeah, I wrote a book, and I'm all. And he's like, yeah, I don't know how to publish it. And I'm like, oh. And I'm like, I'm going to give you my phone number. And I was like, I don't know everything, but everything I know is yours. And he was like, holy shit. So we're talking. And I told him, like, KDP. Like, I told him how to, you know, like, blah, 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 blah. And I go, but here's the thing. I was like, it's super cool that you're going to have a book. And I was like, my husband and I, I go, one, I have 14 books out. <laughs> uh, my dad thinks I have three. <laughs> I have 14. Um. So anyway, um, I was telling and him, your, and your sister-in-law thinks you just write porn. Yeah, yeah. So, but I was, I was, I was telling him, and I go, yeah, my husband and I have a podcast. And I go, here's the cool thing, though. It's like, I go, this is, it's stupid. Our podcast is so dumb. We this know really is horrible. Like we know, we know how dumb this is. Yeah. And you guys are dumb enough to listen to us. <laughs> you're fucking dumber than us. So good. So anyway, I'm just kidding. Thanks for listening. Ooh. We need you. We don't have any. Ooh, you like shorted everything out just now that was weird you shorted everything out. anyway i was thinking i was telling him i go but it's really cool because like when my husband and i are gone my kids can go back 
and listen and watch us. Watch us on YouTube and we're there. Like we're That's leaving true. this. And you know, I and go, we're honest about pretty much yeah, everything. Yeah, and so. I go and I was like, and every once in a while, like John and I will like talk about the kids and be like, we love you, we're proud of you, and like, how cool is that? Like we're dead and they're listening to it, and it's like, hey Brody, we're really proud of you. Hey right. Caleb, we're really proud of you. Hey Tyler, we're really proud of you. We love you guys. You know, that's like, and then I was like, you know, and then later on, like our great great. And you just like gave them each a sound individual soundbite on purpose. I did. Yeah, and then I was thinking like, how cool is love it? Love you, bitches. Yeah, you're shorting something out. You're shorting something out. Anyway, I was also like, yeah, and then like our great, great, great grandkids can watch us on YouTube and realize how fucking weird we are and like how kinky your grandparents are. Watch them. Watch them. Haunted Mansion kids. (laughs) Oh my God, they're going to hear that and be like, oh my God, that used to be my favorite. (laughs) So, um... I don't know, like, I, it's kind of cool that we're leaving this. That's how Caleb was made, was haunted man. Yes, yes. Um, so, I don't know. I, and he was like, that's really cool. And I was like, yeah, like, it, we're here. Like, and, you know, like, and if my great-great-grandkids want to, like, read my books, they could be right. like, oh, no, shit, they, like, my grandma wrote this. Like, this is, so I don't know. I don't know. This is cool. cool. So, my whole thing is, really, what I'm saying is write shit down and record shit because. We're in the age you can. Yeah, yeah, we're here. Like, honestly, think about it. If your grandparents, like, I would watch my grandpa. Like, if my grandpa and grandma did a fucking podcast. I've been thinking about my grandpa so much lately. Yes, 100%. And, like, we're doing this. I have have movies in my head of him. You know what I mean? Because from our time together. So, I mean, like, we're doing doing this. this And, like, I don't know. I feel like that's really cool. We're giving this to the generations. And we're fucked weird, so... If we're the weird, yeah, think. and we get, like, a lot of views, so, I mean, like, you guys should do shit, so, that's all I'm saying, um, yeah. lick my clit, surprise. Yeah, hey, did you know, oh, fun fact, I'm gonna end with a fun fact. I love fun facts. Did you know the that, man. that the Lady Gaga song, Poker Face, is about sex? Yeah. And she says, fuck her face, in uh-huh. the middle of the song? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I love Lady Gaga, she's fucking badass. And, you know, I was like, dang. Did she just say fuck her face? Mm-hmm. You go, respect, girl. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I liked her now. She's got a couple songs that I actually like. Yeah. And she did that movie that, like, 50 other billion people did, and everybody was like, Bradley Cooper killed himself? Well, Bradley Cooper's character killed himself in every fucking movie, dummies. <laughs> it's like when somebody, oh. somebody's like, man, did you see the original? And you're like, that's the remake. Yeah, the remake of the remake of the remake of the remake. <laughs> Right. So anyway, um, so anyway, I, I thought that was a cool little fun fact it was for cool the people who didn't know that because I didn't know that because I wasn't early a listener yeah. of, of the Gaga. She's got some good songs actually, but she poker faced and fucked her face. Yeah, and so good for her. Yes. So everybody have a fan. If, go get if your face fucked. Yeah. Or go fuck a face. If you're Jewish, good job. You did it. You got through Hanukkah. Fucking hats off to you. Um, if you are doing the Christmas thing, fucking you're almost there. You got it. And, um, yeah, yeah you guys we'll, are doing it. We're proud of you. We'll be back and we'll be swinging next week. We are proud of all of you. Are we? We love you. Shut up, John. Are we? Except for the people you know. You know you know if we're not proud of you. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> all right, good day. Thanks for listening. Merry Christmas.